All right, this is a 2008 Honda Odyssey, and uh, we have had that uh, P0420 uh, code come up for that low catalyst efficiency, uh, all that foolishness. All right, and there has been a variety of different uh, videos on YouTube talking about how to use these things. These are uh, spark plug non-fowlers, okay? And uh, they're made by Dorman, all right? get two in a pack. I picked these up at Advanced Auto Parts uh, for um, almost $7. So the price has gone up since the last time I viewed one of these videos. Nonetheless, uh, what you do is you take one of them and you drill it out to at least a half inch so that it will accommodate this end of this piece, the uh, O2 sensor, all right? And then you screw two of them together, all right? And you want the little hole and to still remain in one of them so that whenever you install it into the vehicle, very little of the exhaust gases can get in there. And uh, the theory is that it should level out the reading and everything will be hunky-dory from that point on. The uh, theory, the, the code should clear. Don't know whether or not that's gonna happen. Um, so this is all trial basis. It's sort of just to see if it will work on this vehicle. So we're gonna give it a shot. Thanks. So okay, I drilled out a two inch hole all the way through the middle of it. Yeah, I know it's just a little bit off center, but it's better than nothing. And uh, as you can probably tell, uh, the main piece right there in the middle is not touching any of the sides. That's the most important thing. Okay. All right, I pre-assembled the whole shebang, got the crush washers in there. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tighten that all up. That way to make it that much easier whenever it comes time to install. But as you can see, the one on the very end has the same little small hole. That's what you want. I don't know how well you can see this, but there is plenty enough room between, let's see if I can get my finger up here, between this part right here and this part right here. And you can screw it up in there. It's not going to interfere with anything. That's the good thing about this, this modification. Sorry about the shaky camera work here. Yeah, screws right up in there. The uh, the bung that is welded up into this exhaust pipe comes off in a little bit of an angle to make sure that you can that the that this thing clears whenever it ain't got no non fouls in there. But uh, yeah, I'm finding that I don't have any problems there either. So I don't know why in the world I haven't seen this unless it does doesn't work for the Honda Odysseys, so that's really gonna be the test here. Does it work? Now, I will spare you the total amount of uh, agony that I have had. I won't tell you the whole story. Let's just say, it's just, it takes some work. Yes, it does. Hopefully this is worth it, all the effort. It's gotta go up there, the little crack. Put it all together. All right, we are all together. First start up. Now, I had the battery off, so that cleared out the check engine light. Cleared off the check engine light. And so, now it's just a matter of time. We run it, drive it, and see what kind of a difference it makes. I also might want to add that, just in case anybody were to have any disagreements as to what I did today, um, as I'm sort of putting up my tools, I um, want to let you know that this car, or this van, should I say, it has over 260,000 miles on it. So I'm not too keen on spending a great deal of money on something that may um, very soon mess up majorly. Um, what I'm trying to do is that this van, uh, the way that it is set up, is that if the, the check engine light throws a code, then the, uh, this uh, VCM technology stops working and this thing starts drinking gas by the gallons per mile. Okay, um, and the modification that I did to this thing is just to try to get that VCM to work again. The O2 sensors that are pre-CAT have not been tampered with, okay? These are post-CAT O2 sensors, 
all right which i only modified uh, done one of them because i took it to a guy and he told me that it was that specific one that was messing up the the that specific cat which is the cat that is right here in the front and i get the impression that that's the one that messes up more than any uh of the ones that they have so there you go um that's all the information that i have uh and now it's just a matter of time to see if this worked okay the car is sitting here running it's almost a week later i've put almost 400 miles on this thing and let me tell you the uh check engine light has came back on twice but i did not clear it out notice right here okay it's gone it has went off by itself and came back on twice but it has stayed off more than what it has came back on and I would say that has mostly to do with the modification. Now, with that being said, I want to let you know that before I did this modification with the non-fowlers, it stayed on all the time. It is now off. Now, I'm going to drive it just a little bit, and you're going to see something very magical. I'm, I love it. I love that this is happening. Okay? And this was the whole purpose, really, of me doing this. You know, I've heard that a catalytic converter, if it is operating at only 95% of its efficiency, five percent lower efficiency than what it came out with from the factory, then it would uh, throw this code for the uh, catalyst malfunction PO420, I think is what it is. But I want you to watch this. Ah, oh, did you see that? Eco, eco mode is now coming on. And uh, that means that it's doing the cylinder deactivation thing, and there it is, eco. That's what I wanted. So, are the results 100%? No, they're not. Certainly better than what they were, though, so I'm thankful for that. Y'all have a blessed day.